Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to talk about V7, which is an AI data platform, which can be used for like computer vision, deep learning, and so on, where you can basically like label your data set, you can upload your data set, you can label your data set, you can even like have models trained on your data set. Within here, you can create your own custom workflow and so on. So we're going to cover that way more in other videos where we can actually see how we can implement this in our own projects. But in this video here, we're just going to go over the website, see some of the different kind of like features and capability that it has. And then I'm going to show you how we can actually like upload an image, how we can label it and create our own workflow. So first of all here, we're just going to look at a platform. So this is the, 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 the AI data engine for like both like annotating your images, run any model, like you can create like pre-trained models, train it on your data set. You can even like upload your own models and so on. And then you can actually like deploy them here with V7 uh, as well. And they have this really nice workflow where you can basically like create your own workflow. You have your data set, then you pass the output from your data set into like an AI model. And then you can actually like do uh, annotation stages after that. They have like automatically labeling of your data set as well. You can also like manage your data set. You can like do custom data sets, like you can load in any data format like PNGs. You can even like do annotation on videos. But here we're just going to scroll down. We can like annotate any visual data. So we can do like both auto annotate. So basically you just pass in this car. You just want to annotate this car. You just click on it and then it just uses uh, neural networks to actually like create this um, segmentation here or like this instance segmentation of this of this car instead of using like the polygon where you have to like label it uh, yourself or like doing manual labeling. So they have a lot of different kind of like cool features which we're going to cover um, in other videos. So I'm going to like show you every aspect within V7 here and then we're going to create some really cool projects as well. So definitely like check this website here out They're They're really good for doing like data, data labeling, creating workflows and so on. You can like add any model. You can train with auto uh, machine learning here. So you can basically like train your models uh, within V7 as well. You can do both like humans. You can have multiple uh, multiple people like collaborating on the same project and do like different kind of like annotations. You can send them to reviews. You can train in models. You can use those models to actually like auto label your uh, training set. So this tool here is basically like combining the models, humans and data in a composable workflows. And then you just create your workflows, assign different kind of like tasks to the collaborators or like to the different kind of like people working on the project. And then you can just do everything within uh, V7 here. So here we're basically just going to scroll down. You can just do all these different kind of like in image annotations, video annotations. You can do management like data set management. You can train your models and, and all these different kind of things. So basically to have these different kind of like platforms, you can do like image annotation, data set management, model management, auto annotation, video annotation, labeling service and document processing. And then you can basically like connect to anything. So if you're going to like host your uh, machine learning like projects and applications, you can host them with like Amazon Web Services, Google Cloud Platform. Like you can use PyTorch, Keras, TensorFlow and all these different things that we've been through on this channel. But now I'm just going to log in here and show you the actual like um, to show you the actual like or workflow here. So here when you just sign into it, you can get a free trial. You'll basically like get your workflows up here. You can have a number of different kind of like data sets. You also have the classes over here and the model. So you can basically create some some classes for uh, the data sets that you're going to label. So here I'm basically just going to, to show you how we can actually create a new workflow and a new data set ourselves. So we can basically just go down here, type in the name for the data set. So we're just going to call this test YouTube. And then we're going to continue. And then we can basically just go in here and add our data to the data set. So first of all here, we're just going to click to browse. I'm just going to upload one image, but you can like mul upload multiple images or even like folders. And then when you have actually like uploaded your data set, you just hit continue. You will can actually like set up some different kind of like classes here. So we can have like data set instructions or we can create some new classes. If you just go down here, we can basically just specify the class name. So let's say that we want to have a class with the car, then we can choose the annotation type. So if you're doing instant segmentation or semantic segmentation, you can do like polygon. We can also just do like bounding boxes. We can do key points, cuboid as well, if you're doing some 3D object detection and so on. But here we're just going to take the bounding box. We can choose some different kind of like subtypes if we want to assign some attributes to our bounding boxes, like our directional vectors, instance IDs, if we're doing like instance segmentation, but here we're just going to add the class. Then we have the car class. We can add like other different kind of classes as well. So we can also have like a person, person class. We're just going to have a boundary box for that as well. 
we're just going to add the class here. So we also had already have a class here with um, the person. So now we actually have the, the classes that I'm going to show you in this video here. So now we have added our classes. You can all always go in and add other classes, but here we're just going to save and continue. Then we can set up some workflows here. So basically we can set up our own workflow or we can use their template. So we have just this uh, basic workflow. So this is basically just a workflow of how our our data set related to our like AI models and, and our acts like um, annotation tools. So we have this workflow that I'm going to show you. We have our data set. So you will have this workflow here. You can play around with it. Then we have this annotation block. So we have our data set. We pass it through our annotation block. We send that to view. If they get accepted, we actually just have a completed data set. If some images get rejected or like some annotations get rejected, we just throw it back here to the annotation. We can also like add in a model here. So for example, we can drag in a model. We can take all the accepted images here from our annotation, drag it into our AI model, and then we can just go in, connect an AI model to it and actually like deploy our model. We can also go in and choose our own model if I just go in here. So here we have the different kind of models that we can use. So these are pre-trained models for instant segmentation optic detection and so on we can also like register an external model which they have a tutorial for or we can go in and train our own model so here for example if you want to do optic detection we can go in and train our own model with our own data set so here we have this test youtube data set we can have our uh, class distribution but basically here we need to have more classes we need to have more images to actually like train the neural network but then you will just go in here and then you can just hit continue and it will train uh, your model inside of v7 here so basically, if you go back here again, we then have our AI model, and then we can do something with the outputs from our AI model here. We can act like just throw it into some custom code, or uh, we can act like just deploy those models so we can connect the model to it, and then we can directly deploy it here with V7. So this is actually like a really cool workflow that we can create. So we can create the whole workflow for creating like computer vision and deep learning projects where we go from having a data set, we label our data set, we have some like reviewing process here of our annotated labels and then we can just throw them into our AI models. We can also use that model to do auto labeling of new images in our data set. But here we basically have it. We're just going to delete, delete this one here and then we're just going to send them to complete it. We're going to hit save and apply here to our workflow. So now when we have uploaded our data set, we're now ready to actually go in and label it. So right now we just have one image in our uh, data set, but here we can go in, we can see all the different kind of like tools over here to the left. So we both have like the qubit, we have our uh, polygon tool and we also have our founding box tool but this is basically like the image that we need to annotate so now we can just go over here and choose our founding box tool and then we can actually like start uh, labeling our uh, founding boxes or like our persons here in the image so we have a person here we have a person over here we also have one over here and then we, and we basically have all these different kind of things we can now go up here and choose the other class that we want to um, to actually like door bounding box around. So we have door here and here, and then we also have one down at the bottom here. Then we're going to take the last class here, which is a car. And then we just take a bounding box, throw it around that. We also have a car over here. So this is actually like really easy to label our images. Uh, this is really fast. Um, it's really cool. We can just go up here and choose different kind of classes that we want to label. Then we can also like create a new bounding box class if we want to do that. We can just go in here, directly create one. We can just call it window, hit bounding box, add class, and then we can just directly start annotating or labeling our windows here in the scene or like in the image as well. So this is really cool. You can just see how fast we can actually go in here and then to annotate our images. Then when we're done annotating it, it will also time how fast uh, you're annotating the images up here at the top. So how long it acts like takes. But now we can just send it to annotate here. We can send it to review if we are done with the actual like annotation of our image. So now we have it sent it to act like um, reviewing. Now when we're reviewing our image, we can see that we have labeled all the different kind of like labels that we want in our image. Then we can just mark it as complete. Then when we have completed our image, we have like fully, uh, fully annotated the image. We can just have it in our data set. This is how we can actually like just throw it in. So now it's complete. Then we can go back here up at the top. This is a completed, um, the completed image. Then when we have all the completed images here in our data set, we basically just have a workflow. We have all the completed images. We can throw them into a model or like we can export them here as well. So when we have our data set here, we can also go in and check the quality. So here we can see like uh, how, how many classes I have act like labeled in our data set. And this is actually like really helpful for like just giving a good overview over your data set, like how many classes do we actually like have and how many instances do we have of each class. 
maybe your model is not really good detecting like for example like cars in the scene when you're deploying your model then you can go in here and see okay i don't really have like that many instances of the car in the images in our in, in my data set then we should maybe like increase the number of cars uh, for data set retrain our model and then we should act like be able to see better results so this is really cool it can be used for a lot of different kind of things you can go in use the pre-trained models you can do the whole workflow from like starting with a data set you upload your data set uh, and then you can basically just pass in all the different kind of like things. You can also go up here when you have your data set, you can go up and export the data set. So here you can see we haven't created any export yet. So now we're going to create an export. We can like just set the name here. So this will just be test. Then we can create or like we can choose the format that we want to act like export our data set as. And then when we're doing like, for example, object detection, uh, we can basically just go with the Pascal VOC. Then you can upload this with, for example, like PyTorch or TensorFlow if you want to train your own models later on. If you're doing like semantic segmentation or instant segmentation, you can also directly just get the mask here in PNG format. So this is really nice. You can just go in and choose the format. We're just going to go with Pascal. Then we can also like choose the number of like, or like the items that we want to export. So this will be all the completed images from our annotation tool. And then we can basically just hit export and it will now create the export here. We can see the date, we can see the number of classes and all these different kind of things. And then we can basically just download it and then it will download the annotations here for our data set to our computer. And then we can use it in all the other different kind of like frameworks if you're not going to use V7 for training and deploying your model. So thank you guys for watching this video here. And again, remember the subscribe button and bell notification under the video. This is a really cool um, AI tool that we can use for creating this workflow from the beginning to end. So you can basically just use this tool for everything. Upload your data set, annotate your data set. It's really easy to actually like annotate the, uh, your images. We're going to cover this way more in future videos. Also how we can use their um, AI annotation tool so we can actually like auto label our images. We're going to cover all of it, but make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video here. So you'll get a notification when I upload a new video about V7, how we can label the images, how we can use our own custom data sets, train neural networks, deep learning models, and so on for computer vision applications and projects. So thank you guys for watching this video here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.